I was going to ask you first about um, uh, Nate Davis. Um, looks like we've seen, you know, a pretty good deal of improvement uh, in, in him this year. Uh, you know, maybe even in some of the, the recent games in particular, wonder what you're, you're seeing uh, from him and, and maybe what some of the, the reasons are that he's, he seems to have kind of taken the, uh, his game to the, to another level here. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, I agree with you and um, you know, I, I'm proud of him and, and he's got to stay the course, but I think he's definitely improved uh, this year and over the last couple of weeks. And he's always been a good player for us in the run game and what we do and stuff. I think the biggest leaps he's made is in protection. So, um, you know, I think he's anchored the pocket better. I think he's been better with his hands. And, um, you know, part of that process is what, what you love about Nate and why you always pull for him is he just, you know, he wants to be really good. So it, you know, some things are real easy for him and other things aren't. And he just keeps working at them. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I guess Isaiah got on the field uh, last week, certainly for the for the first time. But, um, you know, I, I guess based on his uh, development, um, you know, is that uh, kind of a any sort of a, a milestone simply getting on the field or is it more just like a numbers thing, uh, you know, with, with the injuries on the offensive line? Well, I think it's probably, you know, a combination of both. And uh, um, we're certainly ha have been beat up and banged up this year. And, you know, he's he's making progress. And so it's, you know, one of those things where at some point his number is going to be called and he's going to have to be ready. And uh, and so, we, he, you know, he finally got on the field yesterday and, or I guess, what is it, two days ago now. Um, and uh and so, you know, I think I think he's made, you know, some strides. Um, and so we'll just have to see where it goes from here. Thank you. Harry. Keith, how much of a, an inspiration has David Quisenberry been beyond obviously what he's been through health wise with overcoming the cancer, but just his willingness to stick to it and grind away on practice squads and finally get an opportunity like he got on Sunday? Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a great question. He, he, you know, I, I know, you know, quiz is like the, the poster child for why you coach. Um, he's been through so much, but his, his persistence and passion is un unmatched. And so, you know, as bad as your day is, you know, when you get around quiz, he's going to he's going to have a positive attitude and he's going to work his butt off. And so he's kind of always that 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 beacon of of, um, uh, you know, almost hope and energy because he just he, he just his whole, you know, um, process and his whole the way he views life and, and kind of attacks each day is infectious. So, you know, I, I'm just so happy for him and and. Uh, you know, I, it's, I think it's just remarkable that uh, he's stuck with it as long as he has. And, and you know, he, the, the, what, what people don't understand, obviously, until now is like he has never for one second felt like he's arrived. He has continued to improve ever since I've known him. And so he just keeps getting better and better and has had a steady, um, been on that steady uh, incline. And uh, so it was really neat to see him kind of get some get his opportunity last week and, and have it all come together for him. And how much do you see his attitude and approach rub off on some of the, maybe the younger guys in the room, guys who could use it, maybe like Isaiah Wilson? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you don't, if you're not inspired and if, if, if David Quisenberry doesn't inspire you and, and he's not a life lesson for you for how to, you know, be passionate about something and not and get knocked down and get back up and maybe not be where you want to be on a depth chart, but keep grinding and grinding and grinding and, and just keep believing in yourself and the process to see where you end up. If you don't see that and, and recognize that, then you're you're not looking hard enough. I mean, he is the poster child, like I said, for all of that. He he will go down in the history books of of the you know the great examples of how it doesn't matter where you start, it's where you finish. You know, we we all get knocked down, we got to get back up. Like all those cliches that you talk about, he he is, I mean, you could, you know, you could take a picture of Dave and 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 put him at the start of all those in in all of our uh our, you know, um, our motivational speeches. 
Paul. I, I was uh, wondering more uh, about Nate. You talked about how he attacks uh, the things that he, he, he maybe isn't as good at. Um, can you run through kind of how you've identified the, the, the good and the bad with him and how he's worked, attacked the, attack the things that maybe he's not so good at? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I think just the – in the National Football League in general, I think protection is, is typically harder for most, um, most guys than, um, you know, that come into this league. And so, you know, like last year and, and, and really the, the athlete and physical presence that Nate has in the run game, he, he was able to just play hard and physical and fast – in the run game last year and, and, um, you know, and he improved and there's things there that he's still improving and all that stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying he's a hundred percent arrived or anything like that, but his, his, his physical, uh, prowess and, and this mindset allowed him to be, you know, helpful for us there. And, and, um, you know, in protection, I think in general, for most people, they struggle and, and, you know, it protection is so technical and it's so, consistency is so important in those in in uh in you know in protection and I think that's where Nate's really really improved and you know it's it's and I know you guys probably hear this all the time but where do you put your hands and the timing of your punch and if you're not great with your hands are you still winning with your feet to where you can recover with your hands and and get back in good position or if you're not great with your hands and they get into your chest, can you get your hips down and, and, and what we call anchor in the pocket so you don't get bull rushed back into the quarterback's lap? I think, you know, all those things that happened so fast for him last year, I think the game slowed down for him in protection. So he doesn't have to be perfect to be, um, you know, to recover and still still save the rep. And uh, so all those count moves and counter moves and stuff like that. I just think he sees it better. I think he's, he's more consistent from the start and then he he's able to react better than he has been in the past. And I think that's just a combination of him, the reps, the, the extra work. And obviously, um, you know, going, he's, he's has a season and a half of uh, games under his belt now. And how's new house coming along? Yeah. New house is great. Um, you know, obviously we got him you know, got him here last week. And, and, uh, you know, what's awesome about him and, and what you, you know, you appreciate guys like him is he's just, he's just a football player who's smarter than heck. He's been in a bunch of systems. He's, you know, it, it's like, I don't even know the last time he's played in a game, but it's like, it's like, you know, he hasn't missed a beat. So obviously we got to continue to get him caught up with what we do and how we do it here and, and, uh, get his lungs back, you know, and stuff like that. But he, he's been really good. He's been really good for the room, too, because he's just a guy that's done it for so long. I think this is year 10 or 11. And, you know, players in this league respect guys that last that long because it's hard. Thanks, Keith. Jim? Hey, Keith, I want to ask you about Ben Jones. Uh, I know you can just get guys ready to play and then hope they're ready to play on – Sunday, Ben never seems to let you down. Can you just speak to his toughness and you, uh, ever surprise you when he's out there? Yeah, I, you know, Ben is uh, – I love giving Ben a hard time because he's one of the guys that can take it. He's tougher than crap, and you're going to be hard on Ben and and um, joke with him and all those things, and he never gets sensitive. He never uh, he never bats an eye, and he'll just give it right back to you. And uh, – his toughness is, is, you know, it, it's, it's really cool. It's special. And I don't know what his numbers are now, how long he's been in the league and how many games he's missed because of injury, but it's remarkable. And, uh, you know, I give him a hard time. I tell him all the time that he's too dramatic. You know, he can't, he can't have some play in every game that he looks like he's been sawed in half. Um, but he finds a way to get back up. He finds a way to tape up. He finds a way to, recover during the week and play, you know, and, uh, I, I don't, you know, I think for me personally, I, I, I respect that more than anything. I mean, his, his toughness and ability to get back up and do it again week after week is, is really cool. Hey, what well, on Aaron Brewer, a kind of unlikely guy to step in and start for you. He stepped in and played well. Seems like he's been ready for you when you've needed him. What have you seen from him just in his rookie season? Yeah, he, he's another one, you know, that just he loves football. And so he's an, he's another one of those guys of why you 
you like coaching and, and makes it fun to come to work every day. He can't get enough. And, you know, he, he's obviously undersized. He's got a little, you know, he's a, a little bit of that, you know, underdog in him, I guess, physically, if you looked at him on paper, but he is as mentally tough and it's not too big for him. And he could care less that he weighs 290 pounds. He, he is uh, hungry and, and he wants to be here and he's willing to do whatever it takes to be here. So I'm really proud of where he's at too. And, and um, I'm just so, you know, it's, it's remarkable that last week he was able to start for Roger for Baltimore and, and have the game that he had. And uh, you know, all the credit goes to him and, 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 you know, Mike Sullivan and, and Chandler Henley for, for just working like crazy to, to study with this guy, to meet with him, to do the extra work and reps and his willingness to do it all. It's really a cool story. Buck. Hey coach, uh, with, we, we've asked you a lot about individual players today, but uh, at least from, from our perspective, it looked like one of the most impressive performances as a unit that the offensive line has had all year on Sunday. What, what was kind of the ramp up like leading into that, this game against the Colts? And, and I guess, how did you feel about the, the total execution after the fact? Yeah, I think, you know, what, what's so impressive, I think for, for just our team in general is, uh, you know, you just kind of go back to our history and, 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 you know, a ton of credit goes to, uh, to Vrabes and, and obviously John, because the, our track re record over the past couple of years is the team finds a way to keep improving as the season goes. And, and, you know, you're, you're either getting better or you're not. And, and, you know, these guys have done a great job just slowly improving uh, um, over time. And I think, you know, I think, you know, we, we keep taking a step here and there. And, and finally, we were kind of seeing some of those results. And uh, we just have to keep it going. Um, I think overall, you know, we have a ton of respect for the Colts. And we think they play hard. We think they are really well disciplined and they execute well and all those things that we take a lot of pride in. And so we were really disappointed um, in that Thursday game, uh, you know, when obviously they came to our place and beat us and, and especially just how the second half unfolded and it kind of unraveled on us a little bit. And so, you know, that was one of those games that like, they didn't need any motivational speeches. They didn't need to be told how important this game is. Like everybody knew. And, and I just have a lot of respect for the organization and the, the offense, defense, special teams, everybody for kind of just sticking to the process and, and, um, you know, keep putting one foot in front of the other, and, and hopefully we can continue that trend and keep it going that way. Thank you. Two more for you, Coach. Beauclair. Keith, you mentioned earlier being sort of beaten and banged up a little bit this year. You had such continuity in the starting five last year. How has, how has the injuries and everything affected how you have to sort of organize your meetings and, and what you do at practices this season? Yeah, I mean, you know, just just between trying to get everybody healthy for Sunday with how we've been beat up, it's given a lot of guys a lot of opportunity to get reps and and stuff. And and you know, you just the it's just amazing because you know if you you know when the when when players take advantage of the opportunities they have, it's it's just one of those things that's really cool to watch and unfold. And I just think we have a lot of good guys on this team that really like football. And so it makes my job easy. You know, we're, we're moving pieces around and maybe, you know, Roger doesn't practice for a day or, or even Ben or even Dennis. And, and we're, we're in a really fortunate spot because of the experience that those guys have that they can, you know, rest up a little bit and then, and still be able to function at a high level in the game. And what that's allowed us to do is get a lot of these other guys reps and, and, you know, including the brewers of the world and, and, um, you know, uh, and even quiz to a certain extent. I mean, quiz is a workhorse. He's had to take a million reps because of the different injuries and stuff that we've dealt with between uh, and just in the last couple of weeks or really throughout the season. So I think those injuries are a gift and a curse. And I'm just, you know, I'm proud of the guys that that have had to play and have stepped up and, and, and taken advantage of their opportunity. It's been, it's been fun to watch. And we'll wrap up with Rex Road. Thanks, Kat. I thought you were going to, I thought you were shutting down my question like Vrabel. Um, okay, Keith, I came in a little bit late. You were talking about uh, David and the inspirational 
um, aspect of his story. Just from a technical aspect, watching him out there the last game and couple series, like, is it exactly what you're seeing in practice, or is there any of his performance that you're like, wow? I mean, this guy comes right in and is able to do what he's doing. Yeah, that that's a um, that's a great question too. I think I think the wow factor is that he did exactly what he's been doing in practice in the game because, you know, sometimes, you know, I mean, I just, you know, quiz is so passionate and he's been working at this for so long and so hard, you know, sometimes you wonder like, well, when he gets in there, is he, is he going to be seeing red and uh, kind of play outside himself for a little bit there until he settles down and kind of just gets in a groove. And, and I'm just, you know, the, I think the, the coolest thing for me and the most the, you know, I don't want to say surprising, but, you know, uh, kind of just the, the, the funnest part of that was he went out there and played just like he's been practicing. And, and, you know, he, you like, you know, just for instance, how we set in pass pro, you know, he didn't panic. He was tempoed and in control and, um, and, you know, used his hands and all those things. And, and he, it was never too big for him. It was never, you know, he just went out there and played football. Like this is the opportunity he's been waiting for and working so hard for. And he didn't, he didn't, you know, go over the top with it. He just went out and, and, and did it the way he's been practicing it. So I think that is awesome. And, and almost, you know, I guess surprising. 